In this video, I will be teaching you about the basics and fundamentals of music that all musicians must know. And this information is from my course Practical Music Theory, which will take you stepwise through the concepts of music from beginner to the advanced level. You can check out the link to this in the description box below the video. In this segment, we'll be looking at the basics and fundamentals of music. Any piece of music has three key elements to it. The melody, which is the tune of the song. The groove, which is the rhythm or the pulse or the beat of the song. And lastly, the harmony, which are the chords which have been used in the song. The first two elements, that is the melody and the groove are obvious to even the untrained ear. Whereas understanding harmony requires quite a bit of training and will be the main focus of this course. The melody is usually performed by the vocals or a lead instrument such as violin, flute, lead guitar and even keyboards. The groove is provided by percussion instruments and the harmony in the modern context is usually provided by either the rhythm guitarist or by the keyboard player. These three elements come together in different ways to form different styles or genres of music such as rock, pop, blues, jazz, country, etc. Melody and harmony are formed from different combinations of 12 notes in music. Of these, 7 notes are our natural notes A, B, C, D, E, F, G and there are 5 sharps or flats located in between these natural notes. These are the A sharp which is the same as B flat and is located between A and B. The C sharp is similarly located between the C and D and can also be called as the D flat. D sharp or E flat is located between D and E. F sharp is located between F and G and is the same as the G flat. And lastly, the G sharp is the same as the A flat and is located between notes G and A. The symbols that you are seeing on the screen, the hash is also known as a sharp and the lowercase letter b stands for the flat. Please note a very important point here is that there is no sharp or flat note between b and c and e and f. So between these notes there is there is no b sharp or c flat and there is no e sharp or f flat. So in order the 12 notes are a a sharp b c c sharp d d sharp e f f sharp g g sharp and a Please note that there is no sharp between B, C and E, F and if we write these same notes in the flat terminology, they are A, B flat, C, D flat, D, E flat, E, there is no F flat, there is directly an F, then we have the G flat, G and A flat back to the A. On the guitar, these notes are located on consecutive frets. So now let us see where these notes can actually be found on the guitar. Before we do that, we need to know some important basics of the guitar itself. The guitar has three main parts, the head, the neck and the body. Starting from the head, we have the tuning pegs or what are also known as the tuning screws. And between the head and the neck, we have the nut of the guitar. This is the white portion, the nut of the guitar. Then the front part of the snake is known as the fretboard across which the strings are laid out. Coming to the body, we have one end of the guitar, this white portion, which is known as the bridge, which is placed over this black part, which is called as a saddle. And here we have the bridge pins. All of these anchor down the guitar strings at one end whereas at the, at the end they are wound around the tuning screws. This portion is known as the sound hole. This hole that you can see is known as the sound hole. Now coming to the main part of the guitar where you will be actually creating music which is known as a fretboard. On your fretboard you can see that there are six strings in most guitars. So these strings are numbered as one, two, three, four, five and six. Starting from the anatomically the lowest string, it's one, then two, three, four, five and six. 
string number 6 and 5 produce low frequency sounds like this. So these are known as the low strings or the bass strings. Then we have strings 3 and 4. These produce a mid frequency, mid range frequency sounds and these are known as the mids. And lastly we have strings 1 and 2 which are the thinner strings which produce a high frequency sound and these are known as the highs or the treble strings. So we have lows, mids and highs or also known as bass, mids and treble. Now you can see these vertical lines, these are known as fret lines and they divide the fretboard into frets. So this portion is known as fret number 1, fret number 2, fret 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and so on. On most guitars you have access up to the 15th fret and if you have a cutaway guitar or if you are playing on the electric then you will have access to even more frets over here. You can see these dots on the fretboards. These are known as fretboard markers and they work as a fretboard guide and on most guitars these are found on frets 3, 5, 7, 9 and 12 and then again on 15, 17 and further as well. So these help you to navigate the fretboard. Now coming to the tuning of the guitar, there are many different systems that are followed all over the world but by far the most common one is what is known as standard tuning where strings 1 through to 6 are tuned to the notes E, B, G, D, A, E. So string number 1 is tuned to the E note, string number 2 is to the B, 3 to the G, then we have the 4th string which is tuned to the D note, 5th string which is A and 6th string is again the E. So both the 6th and the 1st are tuned to the E and this one is a low pitch sound. The 6th string is also known as the low E whereas the first one has a high pitch sound. This is known as the high E string. So what this means is that when I am playing this open string here without fretting any notes provided that my guitar is tuned properly what you are hearing is the E note similarly this is the B, G, D, A and E respectively. It is really crucial to practice on a perfectly tuned guitar as this will help you train your ears much better and this is a mistake which is often made by a lot of beginner guitarists that they are lazy when it comes to tuning up on their guitars. So please do avoid this mistake. Now a very common problem faced by most beginner guitarists is that they are not able to quickly identify what note they are holding down on the fretboard. And this is actually very simple. You just need to know three things. First is the tuning of the guitar. Second is that the fret lines divide the fretboard into intervals of half steps. And lastly that there is no sharp or flat between the notes B and C and E and F as we have discussed before. So for example the first string which is tuned to the E then if I press down on the first fret this would be a half step up from the E. So this is an F note remember there is no E sharp so this is an F. Then the next would be F sharp also known as G flat then we have the G G sharp or A flat, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp or also known as D flat. Then we have the D, D sharp also known as the E flat and then we are back to the E. So we started on E and we end on the E again at the 12th fret. So the note on the open string and the 12th fret will always be the same note. Then if you go ahead the cycle starts again. So again we have F, F sharp, G and so on. So the note on the 13th fret will be the same as that on the first fret. So any two notes with a gap of 12 frets will always be the same note. Then coming to the B string we would have the notes B, 
C, C sharp D, D sharp E, F, F sharp G, G sharp A, A sharp and then we are back to the B. Similarly, on the G string, we have G, G sharp A, A sharp B, C, C sharp D, D sharp E, F, F sharp and back to the G. For the D string, we have D, D sharp E, F, F sharp G, G sharp A, A sharp B, C, C sharp and we are back to the D. The A string A, A sharp B, C, C sharp D, D sharp E, F, F sharp G, G sharp and back to the A. And lastly, we have the E string, which will again have the same notes as the first E string. So, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp and E. So, in this way, you can quickly find out what note it is that you are holding down on the guitar. I strongly recommend beginner guitarists to draw this entire fretboard at least up to fret number 12 with your own hand as it will really help you to visualize the fretboard much better. Now coming to a very important fretboard correlation which helps us to tune the guitar strings. If you look at the note on the 5th fret of the 6th string that is the low E string, we have the A note. This note is same as the open 5th string which is also the A. The same correlation exists between the 5th and the 4th strings that is the 5th fret of the 5th string is the same as the open 4th string. Likewise, between the 4th and the 3rd string where the 5th fret of the 4th string is the G note and the open 3rd string is also the G. And this correlation also exists between the 2nd and the 1st string which are the B and the E string that is the 5th fret of the second B string is the same as the first open string. The only exception to this rule is between strings 3 and 2 that is G and B where the fourth fret of the third G string is the same as the open B string that is the string below it. So if you wish to check that your guitar is in tune you can first play the fifth fret of the sixth string and then play the open fifth string. If both these notes are matching and similarly for the other strings as well, that means that your guitar is in tune.